Schools in Rwanda had been closed for eight months before students were allowed to return two weeks ago. And education officials say 89% of primary students are attending classes again, with the figure at 91% for secondary school students. Kigali City has the highest number of students that have not yet reported back to school. Kigali City is at 85% in primary schools. The southern province is at 94.5%. The northern province at 89.3%. The eastern province at 89.2%, the western province at 84.2%, and the average is 89% for all primary schools that have reopened. As for secondary schools, that is to say Senior 3, 5 and 6, Tivet and TTC, those who have returned in Kigali City are at 85.4%. For the south, it's 92.1%, 93.5% for the north, 92% for the East and 89.4% for the West. The average sits at 91% for students in secondary schools. The ministry's officials also announced that COVID-19 tests are to be carried out at all schools that have reopened, with 2,500 tests carried out in primary and secondary schools and another 500 in universities and other institutions of higher learning. The minister did emphasize, however, that positive results do not mean automatic closures for schools again. The guidelines do not say that we instantly close all schools in the country, but rather deal with individual schools accordingly. You know that all schools have isolation chambers for sick children. The reason for that is because the possibility had been considered. So let it be clear that if a large number of sick children is found at one school, Others supposed to go there will wait until we deal with that problem. We must first decide on how to proceed if such cases become evident, and though we hope things do not prove serious, we must also consider the possibility, and if it does happen, then we will follow the provided guidelines. The problem of teacher shortages in schools has also persisted, with more than 14,000 needed in primary schools and more than 3,500 in secondary schools. In primary schools, teachers who have been given appointment letters, those we had on waiting lists since 2019, and those who sat for interviews in July this year, number 3,732. However, we need a total of 18,039. That means we still have a gap of 14,307 to fill. In secondary schools, we have appointed 2,673 of the 4,045 candidates that we had. That means 65% of those who applied were given jobs, and the rest are to be given places as soon as possible, as the minister noted. In secondary schools, we need another 6,371 teachers. The need for more teachers is likely to go up, with just 95% of teachers before the lockdown having returned to work.